my mice because I did a keyboard video the other day with all my keyboards. Um, and you might be wondering what that noise is, and it's my Packard Bell. I turned it on, I don't know why. Before I do that, I know I'm op I know I'm touching open like trunk, but I really don't give a crap. I mean, what's what is the most power that's going through this thing? Uh, maybe a hundred volts. Nothing. You see, there's um, right now I'm holding a floppy drive power connector. If I pull it out, if I put it in, if it's I, it, it's it was in upside down. If you put it in the correct way, it turns off the computer because there's something wrong with the floppy drive inside inside it so yeah just pull it out and it doesn't work um right here is a, a microsoft serial mouse see right here it's a serial connector common serial looks it's the same design as a VGA basically it has the the little curved opening right there it has a different number of cords though, and it has the screws on either side. So basically, that seemed to be a good idea, but the screws eventually became stupid, in my opinion. Who needs screws? Just get a connector that snaps in or something to push a button to pull it out instead of screws. And it's like pretty basic. But anyway, this mouse works, and it, I, I was using it with the Packard Bell because the Packard Bell has a serial port. There's just little. There's two buttons on this thing, so it's a normal mouse. Click here, click here, and it's like this surf little button thing right here. It's not even a button. I don't think it's a scroll surface. That was too advanced from back then. It has a scroll ball. Okay, inside here is nothing. There's little rolling switches. Um, one for the stuff, I don't know, I'm not really sure how this ball works, let's screw it back, now that's the only serial mouse I have, I have now this one right here is an HP PS2 mouse, let me get the cord, yeah, here's the cord right here, PS2 connector, now in the comments, tell me, did, do you think, did they ever, is the Den 5 connector specifically made for for keyboards? Because I got that Den 5 keyboard. From, I think, yeah, I got it right. Is was serial for mice and Den 5 for keyboards? Because I know, I think I know why it's serial. Because serial is for a lot of things, and since it's DOS era, um. Mice were just thought of as, like, not really necessary, but we use mice every day on our computers, don't we? I mean, it's pretty hard to think a computer without a mouse. So, we have a nice little clicker. There's some stuff. So, it's Hewlett Packard. I forgot to say with the back of this mouse. Yeah, right here. It's a, it just says serial mouse. Because Microsoft Corporation just made mice. Yeah, because they just have a, they call their keyboard USB keyboard 600 right there under the beige one. It's kind of funny. Now right here is a Logi Logitech um USB infrared mouse. Now to show that it works. Oh, want to plug. I'm at G3. Go in there. Hold on a second. Okay, I got it in. Hi. Awesome beige cord. I can use my MIT3 to give them power. Yep, as you see, it lights up. So, it's a working mouse. Now, I will be using the rest of my mice with my MIT3.
because obviously iMac G3 does not have a PS2 port, let alone a serial port. Apple would never put this ugly thing on their computers. Ever since Steve Jobs came back. Never put this garbage back. One thing, while the email I mean while the iMac boots up, I have a floppy drive. But apparently I don't think it works. I removed the front cover. I have a floppy inside. And the kind of cool thing, here's the floppy with the little disc controller thing right here. And on the back, this is what moves the disc. You can see I can spin it really fast. But once I stick the disc in, it kind of slows down. Because it can, it's controlling it now. It's controlling that little read thing. So I think this is this thing spins and it might spin different ways, maybe. I don't know, but I thought that was cool. And I can also project it across the room. So that's that. Okay, the iMac is now booted up. This video is already long, but I don't really care because. So here, this mouse does have some annoying little problems. Um, sometimes it like goes all the way to the other side of the screen, and starts like shaking in the corner, and you have to pull it back. It's like infrared glitch or something. Anyway, but seems like the mouse works fine. It's a great little mouse. Oops, I don't want to sleep it. Has this, it has a scroll button on it, and I found it, I got it for $2 at a store called Computer Direct, which I don't recommend, because half the stuff I bought from them had problems. I bought the hard drive and the Dell from them, and it used to make noises. Like it used to, I used to hear the head go make a little metallic ting. As I've heard that that's like a hard drive failure, and I was worried I already installed an operating system on it. So, this mouse works, and it, it's just for some, it doesn't really say anything about it on the back, just some words. Now, here's here's an Apple mouse. Um, this is a good position. This is the mouse I regularly, regularly use with my iMac G3. It's it's a black Apple Pro mouse, and if you've watched that scary movie trailer video that I made, you you might remember seeing this thing in it. Like, let me plug it in. Evil glow with the computer mouse, which will eat your soul. So, let's move it. Yeah. I saw that and it was like this. Let's see, let's see. Let's focus on it. Yeah, designed by Apple in California, Pro Mouse, and then some stuff. Now, you see the white one over here, which is almost identical except for its color. Let's plug it in. I've n I haven't plugged it into the computer yet. I, just, I got this for the Emac, which obviously is not working because I bought a keyboard and mouse for it. So basically, these things are the exact same mouse, just different colors. The only difference between these mice, the only major difference, or the only one thing I can tell is the cords are made of different materials. One of them is made out of a see-through plastic, and the other one's made to like a rubberish material. You can actually see the cords, stranded cords inside. It's pretty cool. Now. One thing, and the other difference is the cords. The USB, see that the Black Pro mouse one is substantially bigger. And one funny thing about this mouse, I mean this one, this USB is this, the cover falls off. So you can see a, you can see a metallic USB if it will focus. Yeah. Which I just found out today, and also I thought I broke it. I was pulling it out of a USB slot and it just popped out. Just you have to grab, you have to grip it pretty hard, but not that big of a deal. 
So I'll show you that these two mice work. Here's the black one. You can see the mouse running across the screen. Okay, now I'll show the white one. Which I haven't used with the computer yet. Yep, it works. Good, because this is the first... Because I haven't plugged it into the computer yet, because I had no reason to. I was plugging... I plugged it into my Apple charger. I plugged it into a computer that was off also, so... I never... I never knew if it was work. Okay, and here's... Last, but definitely not least. This is my best mouse. This was... An awesome buy. I got this for eight dollars at a thrift store. It was. It came new in a package. It even has the original off-brand battery that comes with products. Like there's always a new. There's always another company. This one's called um, GP Alkaline. And it just says it may explode or leak if recharged. Well, that's not nice. Hmm. Well, guess I'll stop recharging my batteries then. That don't say rechargeable. Why isn't this focusing? Product of Gold Peak Group. GP Alkaline. Zero percent mercury and cadmium. So, I guess that means it's good, and that means it won't hurt you too much. So, yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. Here's the on-off button right here. The green. Means it's on, and the red means it's off. And I've seen that Mac K seven three six four um, uses this mouse. I think um, I remember seeing it on his desk and a couple of his videos. I'm not sure what computer he uses it for. Maybe he can tell me in the comments. But I like the coolest thing about this mouse is it's it's almost it's not a wireless mouse. Okay, I stuck it in, and it seems to work. So, for some reason, on every computer, this mouse always starts out really fast. But I like I like it when the mouse mice mouse is fast. Mice. So that's about the end of this video. I've showed you all my mice. I don't have a lot, as some people do, because I don't have a lot of computers. I mean, you know, I took my bag. I have a ton. I guess I'll do a slight room tour. Hasn't changed, so I haven't turned that on in a long time. Um, I haven't really turned on my, a, lot, a lot of my computers in a while. This is a hard drive with Windows 98 on it. Yeah, so... And this is a the DVD. There's a neighbor, which never met them and probably never will, cause they're always they always have their blinds closed. And one day I saw them moving a motorcycle into the house. I don't know what's with that? I use my Dell a lot. I do use it a lot. I'm planning on putting the disk drive back in, cause I love the trash of that, cause it's. Taking up valuable space. I mean, let me get up on the ladder to the bed that I don't use. And I'll show you how messy my room is. Look how messy. It's just disgusting and small. I don't care it's small, but it is messy. There's some CD on my graphite. No idea what that is. My only LCD monitor. It's a good monitor. Um, my CRT TV, which I will do a video on. Forgot about that. My cat carrier some old toys that I don't really play with anymore because I don't play with toys anymore really these are my toys that's about it um, there isn't really anything else to say so whoa